Hi, my name's Becky Platt. I'm an advanced clinical practitioner in the paediatric emergency department. Today, I'm going to talk about wound closure with Steri-Strips. This is a really common procedure in PEDS-ED and many of the wounds that we see are suitable to be closed this way. What I really like about using Steri-Strips is that you have the ability to approximate the wound bit by bit and to test the cosmetic outcome as you go along. This is especially useful if you're worried about tension across a wound and its position in relation to Langer's lines. You don't have to completely commit yourself first time like you do with glue. I'm going to give you my tips for success in this video and we'll have a look at the procedure together. There are a few things to think about before you start. First of all, get the play specialist involved if you have one and make sure the child is adequately prepared. Get them comfortable, manage their pain and make sure that they're adequately distracted to get them through the procedure smoothly. Make sure that you've controlled bleeding. If simple pressure doesn't suffice, then use some adrenaline or TXA soaked gauze or maybe some counterstat or Aquacel if you're having trouble with bleeding. You need to be able to see what you're doing, so do spend a few minutes making sure that this is sorted out. Once you've cleaned the wound, make sure that the edges are completely dry so that the strips are going to stick properly. Let's have a look at the procedure now. Bring each strip up to the very edge of one side of the wound and then use the strip to pull the wound closed, bringing the other side of the wound into position with your finger. Depending on the shape of the wound, it may be easier to start either at one end or in the middle. And you're going to place the strips two or three millimetres apart. The strips themselves are going to be at 90 degrees to the edge of the wound and that may mean that the strips are not parallel if the wound isn't a straight line. What we want is for each strip to be at 90 degrees to the edge of the wound. That's the way to get the tension right. At the end, get the patient to move that part of their body so that you can check that the wound stays closed under that sort of tension and you can see this child was moving his eyebrows to check that for me. So we've had a look at the procedure. Let's have a think about my top tips now. Firstly, use the strip to pull the wound closed. The key point about using Steri strips is to remember that they're not just sticking plasters, they're wound closure devices. Secondly, don't be afraid to remove and reapply Steri strips. If you can gradually get the edges closer by applying a couple of strips, then taking one off and applying a new one to bring the edges a bit closer together, then do take the time to do that. Often we're talking about children's faces when we're closing wounds. Clearly we want to get as close to perfection as we possibly can. Test the wound closure at the end. Make sure the tension's not too great for the strips and that it stays closed. Make sure that the cosmetic outcome is adequate. You can use some glue as a dressing if you want to, and you can also um, just use those to prevent children picking them or dribbling on them, especially for young children. That's a good way of stopping the strips from coming off. So that was my rundown of uh, wound closure with Steri Strips. I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.